I think that I wanted to do movies and I wanted to do dramas. But I didn't really envision the language. Okay, you speak four languages. Is there a certain language that is the hardest to memorize lines in? Okay, the hardest to memorize lines. Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Help Desk. I'm Drew and I'm just dropping in at the start of this one to say that we had a really long and really fun conversation with Das Didi. Um, it went so long, in fact, that we decided that we wanted to split it into two episodes. That's how much content we have. Um, so what you're going to watch after, you know, the that do -do 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 transition thing is um, the first half of that conversation that we had with him. And I think we tackle a question about finances and money and we give some money saving tips as well as talk a bit about the journey that Das has been on in his quite exceptional career, I would say. So um, stay tuned for that. And then if you wait about a week or, or two, you will see the second episode, um, the second half of that conversation that we had with him. So joining us on Help Desk today is an actor, a comedian, and a host who you've seen in shows like Just Swipe La or on TikTok where he posts about his adventures with his mom. He's perhaps best known for being able to speak in English, Tamil, Malay, and Chinese with his multilingualism making him the first Indian entertainer to win a performance-based category at the Star Awards. He calls himself a simple boy who lives in woodlands, but we <laughs> think that he is far more amazing than that, and that's why we are so excited to have Das Didi here with us today. Thank you so much for joining us on That was Des. such a nice introduction. <laughs> <laughs> it only oh, took me three attempts. Yeah. 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 No, it's okay. I almost like it was very uh, heartwarming and also it brought back a lot of memories from oh, yeah, Star really? Awards and stuff although it just took place last year yeah yeah it's quite quite a while ago do you still consider yourself a simple boy from Woodlands yes very much so really? you I still, still live in Woodlands I still live in Woodlands uh, I think that being a heartlander has is, is very beautiful and I think as a Singaporean who lives in the in the heartlands I feel like I'm so much more grounded and I'm so mm. Uh, more relatable and also I'm very close to everyone I feel like you know when I go and buy food at, at my near my place you pass me you live here I'm like yeah you know <laughs> <laughs> or like oh you must live here a lot of them come and say you stay here right you stay in Woodlands right and I'm like yeah <laughs> where <laughs> and then I was like mm, no <laughs> yeah. none of us live in Woodlands I no. think right? you don't live in Woodlands no but I study there you study I went to RP, RP. I went to RP okay, yeah, I thought yeah, so sports school also, oh yeah. no, no. I'm, I'm not sports that school? no because <laughs> yeah, you said sports school also like so. sports, sports, uh, sports school and republic Probably other uh, uh, yeah. uh, oh, okay. institutions yeah. that are very popular in Woodlands. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Me, I'm still plugging Woodlands here. Yeah. yeah, yeah. What What is your recommendation for Woodlands food? Well, Woodlands food. Okay, we have really good mukata that is near uh, oh, Woodlands wow. as well, and then we have uh, a lot of food at Triple Eight Plaza, which is the heartland, not say mall, but it's more of like the coffee shop areas. It's mm. really really good, and I think Woodlands is also a very um misunderstood place because a lot of people think that the only thing that's interesting about Woodlands is it's near Malaysia, right? Yeah. Which is not wrong because I go to Malaysia very often and I don't <laughs> think I would go to Malaysia as often if I didn't live in Woodlands. Yeah. But there's a lot of, there's a lot of facilities. It's very peaceful and I feel like because it's right smack in between <laughs> Jurong East and Orchard. Correct. So the, the commuting is quite convenient mm. as well. Now with the brown line also. Yes, yeah, brown line. It's yeah. a godsend actually. I love brown line. I love brown line too. Really? Yes. Oh my god, I love brown line. So when Me brown too. line first came out, I was like, I was like, oh, doing a lot of IG stories about the brown line. Because like, oh, at that time, it was still like quite underutilized. Yeah, yeah. Not many sponsored people. or not sponsored? Uh, I, I, eventually, of course, I did. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I did. Yeah, but but that was great. It was an ad with CC. Yeah. Yeah, that was, that was really fun. Yeah, another friend of the show, CC. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> I love the brown line as well. I love it so much because I where I live in Katong, we never used to have MRT stations until like, you know, recently. Mm -hmm. And I love it so much that sometimes I'll go out of my way to take it. Oh. Yeah. Yes. Uh, like my route will be longer just so I can sit on the <laughs> Yes, yes. Trust me. Really? Like from yeah. Orchard, sometimes I take the brown line to Woodlands and then change to Admiralty. My, the nearest MRT to my house yep. is Admiralty, Admiralty, but my address is still Woodlands. So I do do that because it's a lot more peaceful and I think it's a bit more aesthetic, right? The yes. Brown yeah. line, right? Yes, yeah, yes, yes, it, yes. Is, it is, it yeah, is. Yeah. Alfie doesn't know about these kind of things. No, I... <laughs> Oh, you did. You I, did you, yes, I did a video. I did a video. So I had to go take. Oh, none of you were there, but uh, we had no to take. Witnesses. Yeah, no witnesses. Yeah. Sorry. No, I have a video. I have a video <laughs> evidence, but we had, haven't opened from like 
Which station was it that had it open yet? The Katong, one Tanjung Ka- uh, Marine Parade. Marine Parade. Like, yeah, that, that, yeah. that, yeah. that place. And then we yeah. we had to film inside. Mm. So I was but taking you film it. all of them, right? We had to go down because oh. we kept having to... It's my fault. Yeah. I can't memorize lines. Oh. No, I'm not. An, I'm not an actress. It's so okay. Wait. It's okay. <laughs> Maybe you can get some tips from from that. Uh, yeah. yeah. I think until now, I feel like memorizing lines is still quite a challenge. Yeah. Mm. Oh really? Yeah. I think unless oh unless I wrote it by myself, it'd be easier for me to remember. But if someone else writes it, I always paraphrase it into the way that I would find would it more say. comfortable mm. talking mm. or like sharing. Oh wait, is it, can I just ask? So when you get the script right, how do you like internalize? You have to read it as if you're reading a storybook first. Mm. Yeah, mm. you have to not focus on memorizing immediately. You read it through, internalize it, and then not focus on memorizing until you fully have grasped and understood your character. Mm. I think even then, you would have a lot of questions about what your character is about. You know, you can ask, you will have to ask the director or whoever, you know, via text or if there's a script read, you clarify, you know, so is my character like this or like that? And then eventually, when you start getting down to memorizing your lines, it will be a lot easier because you have a very clear intent. Mm-hmm. And you know what that person, like the character would yeah. say and how they would say it. Yeah, right. how they would say it. And yeah, also like crafting it out. And I think the most important thing about like playing a character is mm-hmm. even no matter how horrible that character is, you have to defend that character, you know. You would wow. think that the character is doing something right. Because you have it's to get you. in the mind of that character. Yeah, oh. you cannot say, oh, my character is a bad person. <laughs> yeah, you, you, nobody walks around, you know, <laughs> living their life thinking they're a bad person. Mm. Whatever, what their conviction is always, whatever they're doing is the right thing. So you have to somehow believe that, you know, no matter whatever horrible things that your character requires you to do, you have to feel like it's the right thing to do. Oh. Yeah. Okay, oh. you speak four languages. Is there a certain language that is the hardest to memorize lines in? Okay, the hardest to memorize lines is still Mandarin. Oh, okay. Wow. Yes. Okay. okay. So there is the there is a re- reason that I found out because Mandarin words are a lot shorter, okay. so yeah. it takes you have to move on to your next thought very quickly. Oh. But uh, Tamil and Malay lines, and of course, okay, English. Let's put that aside because, of course, you know, I, I, I am. I have a better grasp of the English language. You're a master of English, but no, no, not really. <laughs> uh, Malay, Malay, and Tamil because the sentences are a lot longer. Yeah. So you have more time to move on to your next thought. Mm. Wow. Yeah. Okay. Because Mandarin is just what I need. Then what? What? what uh, then what's next? What? Then I have to faster think of like what I'm gonna say. Yeah. But yeah. Tamil oh. is na nu neka delikiren. So you have that bandwidth Length. to move on to your next yep. thought and say, oh, I love you. Okay, because whatever. Uh, yeah. You know? Wow. Okay, interesting. Yeah. Interesting oh. insights into lines, brown mm. lines and scripting lines. And, yeah, and brown languages. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Brown languages, yes. <laughs> Malay and okay. Tamil. So help us, you know, as you know, it's all about advice. Are you someone that people go to for advice often? Yes, but I think that <laughs> I go to a lot of people for advice as well. Okay. You know, I think that uh, in this day and age, I uh, mental health has been a very big topic. Yeah. And it's not like it's not existed since forever, but I think people have given it a lot more importance now. So I do go f- to a therapist to seek advice mm. on my mental health, get a check-in, uh, you know, ask that that this objective person whether I'm being crazy or unreasonable or not because I think a lot of times we have this inner conflict right whenever we do something we always think that oh uh, if someone's upset with uh, with us or uh, then we think that we are at fault. So sometimes it's good to have that neutral party to mm-hmm. seek advice from. Yeah. And of course, you know, I speak to my friends and speak to my peers as well. Uh, especially when I'm doing so much more hostings, <coughs> when I meet other hosts, I, I, I learn a new perspective on how they do things. Mm. Right. Because I ha- I feel like I have my own style of doing things. But then when you have to co-host with someone, it's a different ball game. Yeah. And yeah. then you see the way they think. It's very interesting. Oh. Yeah, yeah, wow. Okay, cool. Well, we're looking forward to all the advice that you have to share today. Oh. Are you ready for the <laughs> Take first Take it with question? a pinch of salt, but yes. <laughs> yeah, I mean, none of us are experts, right? Yeah, we're yeah, all yeah. just kind of talking. I think just sharing from personal experience, like what yeah. I would do. Yeah. Exactly, yeah. yeah. That's exactly um, what we try and do here. Okay, the first question. Are you ready for the first one? The first question... Oh, wait. Before we get into the first question, if you guys are watching this at home, if you have a situation that is tough, awkward, it's a sticky situation, if you want something, if you want advice on something, feel free to write into us at the link that is on your screen right now. You can find that exact same link in the show (laughs) description. Okay, ready for the first question? Sure. Okay, this one is from Jake. And Jake writes simply, my finances are jumbled up. I want to scale up slash grow. However, none is happening. Tried a side, tried a side hustle, but didn't work out. Mm. What do you guys think? Mm. What have you guys been in a similar situation to this before? Have you tried a side hustle that didn't work out? Anapris is a pros- prolific 
clothes salesman on carousel oh, yes yeah. i think it's a very good platform actually okay, okay yeah like to just sell whatever you need to if you're not using it anymore but i think side hustles are, are a good way to just earn some side income uh, if you are you know like a student or something and i mean i'm a fresh grad so i have been doing quite some uh like side hustles while I was in school but I think it can be quite tricky if you have all these like sources of incomes but you don't really know how to handle them mm. mm-hmm. yeah. yeah because I think I mean I don't know for you guys but I don't really think schools teach us or like there's no proper like way for us to learn how to manage our finances or at least it's like not really talked about a lot mm. I feel mm-hmm. yeah so I, I understand how some people might yeah. be struggling mm. with Finances, yeah. Yo. I used to struggle with finances. <laughs> so struggling, yeah. <laughs> no, like, dude, I, I, I always think of like, oh, I can do a side hustle. Yeah. I can like do this and do that. But then I can't think of something. Never have Is the energy. The energy. energy. No, I don't, it, mm, the time. I feel like everyone has like something. So you like need to find, like for example, we have a couple of colleagues who are like yoga instructors. Oh, yeah. oh, and okay. then they go after work. You know, like, I don't know what I works. Teach. Yeah, I don't So know. I'm trying to think. Maybe I have no other skills. Wait, other are you time. rich? <laughs> no. Okay, so none of us here are the privileged ones, no. right? <laughs> no. Okay, we could so. all use some extra yeah. income. Okay, yeah, so yeah, we could yeah, all yeah. use we some all, extra we income. We all, yeah. Because I feel like a lot of people have side hustles, even like my friends who are doing financially well. Okay. Like carousel <clears> and all of those things, but it's like a hobby to them, you know? Yeah. Like yeah, the thrill of selling something, yes. but it's not really uh, an actual source of income for them. Yeah, yeah. So I think my advice would always be to try your best to cut back on the unnecessary expenses first mm. Mm. and then go and plan out your finance. Really take a piece of paper or use notes or whatever and uh, d- decide what your mandatory um, expenses have to be like transport, mm. your phone bill, you have to give your parents money and all of these things. And then whatever you have left, a portion, portion of that has to go into your um, savings. Mm. And also there's this thing called like savings burnout as well. Like okay. you shouldn't save too much to the point where you your life is so sad yep, yep. that you don't even go out because at one point you lose it and then you just spend all the savings yeah yeah Yeah. i've heard i've heard this like oh you can't bring your money to your grave yeah yeah. but that's also like yolo you can't you only live once and then just spend all your money at the same time it's like a good balance you need need Mm. a good balance of both yeah Mm. but i think also it's good to have like financial goals that's true yeah yeah Yeah. okay out of 10 how would you guys rate your how you (laughs) handle your personal finances we'll start from alfie and then we'll go go 10 10 is bad 10 is good zero is like you know don't wow. leave you near mm. any coins. Like six. six. Five or six. Like not great. Okay. But like yeah. I always mani- see, I always managing. see every weekend <laughs> living it up. My, I have priorities. Yeah. <laughs> also you you club, is it? But mm. that's expensive. It, that's expensive. But do you buy your own drinks? Or well, do you split? Or do you get do you have guest list? All of depends, these things make depends, a difference. Depends. Do you have a right home? You Ooh. split the grab. All of these wow. things, right, wow. make a difference. I don't judge anybody who like feel yeah. drinks because when I was I was broke once as well and I had to use my charm. <laughs> but uh <laughs> but it didn't really work. But it, I, I, that's when I realized that you know spending a uh, clubbing was actually a very expensive yeah. activity. So oh expensive. No, not 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 all the time. Not all the time free drinks. Mm. Not all the time guest this. How about like do you have a right back? Do you have this one friend who stays near you? Can't split. Yeah, but so not, split the grab. not free, right? But, but you split, split the grab. Have. Okay, then that is good. That helps mm-hmm. a lot. Okay, mm-hmm. out of 10, how would you rate your own management of your finances? Okay, so I don't have a fixed salary. Yeah. yeah. So uh, I don't have a, a, a monthly fixed salary that I can say, oh, you know, I can spend my entire, for example, 3K this month because on the first of the next month, I'm going to get 3K again. Okay. Mm-hmm. Yes. So I have to always make sure that I have a certain amount of money that would, that would tide me through rainy days and also when I go on mm. holiday uh, I won't be working so I need to have <coughs> a certain sum of money to make up for that two weeks or one week of not working mm. and uh, also another thing that I do with my savings I need to invest in myself right you know we need to hire stylists we need to hire um, videographers photographers and all these things mm. cost money mm. and we don't pay and I have a PA as well yep. so that's a fixed wow. salary so then that is very scary because no matter how much I earn that month sis is relying on me <laughs> yeah. right yeah. so yeah. even if I earn less than her that month 
I still have to pay her. Wow. You know, I mean, mm. she would never know, right? I mean, yeah. I, maybe she can guess because like that month she probably will be very free because I got no work. You have been on holiday. Yeah. The whole yeah. Week. So what are we doing? Yeah. You know? <laughs> like where's my career growth? But no, uh, at least I. So those are things that I have to worry about as well. Mm. And also, I'm also like sort of like the breadwinner of the family because my mom okay. is taking a bit of a back seat. <laughs> so I have to pay for everyone's insurance. And as your parents grow older, their insurance gets more and more expensive. Yeah. yeah. Because they move into a different age bracket because the mm. risk of them having to claim will be higher. So those things become very expensive. So I really have to save up for all those things. Ooh. Okay, wow. Okay. Is this something that you've been always good at since you were young or is it something that you've learned now that you're old, a bit older? I, I feel like I hate debt. So I always like to pay off everything. Yeah. Okay. So sometimes that's not a very good thing. All the finance bros will tell you, you know, it's good to have debt and stuff like that. But like mentally, I can't mm-hmm. compute that. Yeah. I want to just pay off everything. I don't want to owe a single person money, be it a credit card or even like HDB. I'm trying to pay off like my entire flat so that my mom doesn't have to worry <coughs> about it anymore. But then, you know, the finance bros will be like, oh, you know, HDB interest is so low. You know, you should do that yeah, and take yeah. that money and like invest it into something else. But I'm a bit old school in that sense. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Because yeah. cash is always the safest mm. way to get you out of anything. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah for sure. That's for true. sure. So you sound like you're like an eight, maybe nine. No, I think I'm more like a four, four, oh, five. Oh, oh, so oh, because oh, I, so oh, because oh, I need to lower mine. Because I don't have a stable income. <laughs> but actually, can I ask about that? So how do you, sorry, how do you like plan out like how much you spend in a month if it's all like inconsistent? Okay, so I'm not a very big spender in the okay, first place. I good. don't buy branded clothing. I, mm-hmm. I I do have a couple of nice things mm-hmm. uh, like shoes and bags which I carry like I carry the same bag. Maybe I paid a couple thousand for it but I carry it like for four years so mm-hmm. it's okay. But like I don't have I can't live the lifestyle of like wearing something branded every day yeah. and then not having to repeat it. Yeah. yeah. yeah so yeah. I don't have that. I always repeat my clothes and also another thing is that um I just like to eat. So spending money on food is not a huge expense for me at this stage in my life. Okay. And also I'm single, I'm not married, I'm not worried about kids and uh, BTO and stuff like that. So I'm low-key living my life. I do splurge a bit on travelling at times because yeah. I like nice mm. travelling, comfortable travelling. So that that uh, comes with a price tag. Mm. But other than that, I don't think I, I have a, like, a luxurious lifestyle. I just I don't understand people... Who, I One day I don't understand people who have cars. To me, cars, cars. is like a very expensive <laughs> thing. <laughs> Like, no matter how much I earn, right? Like, I don't think I can afford a car. Yeah. It's actually not the car that it's expensive. It's a COE. Ah. Yes. Yeah, and then you can't, yeah. you can only own it for like 10 years. 10 years and then, and then, then you, you have to renew it. it and then it goes down in value. I don't see the point in that. <laughs> Alfie drives. <laughs> All right, yeah. let's talk to you. I think it's, sorry, yeah. let's wait, wait a bit. Wait for you. Go, go, go. Yeah, yeah. No, no worries. I don't have a car. It's a okay. My parents have cars. Okay, okay. cars. Ca- 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 cars. She said cars. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. I knew she was a rich one already <laughs> from the start. Mm. Right? Mm. Oh, but it's okay. okay. Yeah, There's yeah. no shame about yes, being yes, rich. Yes, yeah. yes, yes. Or, or like, you know, being like a second generation mm. rich person or <laughs> whatever. But I mean, you have a job, you're working. I yeah. know. I'm, I'm but don't be ashamed hard. of it. Like, your friends make yeah, fun of you coming, you're from, coming from a, like a wealthy background. Okay, wait, I, I won't say I'm wealthy. I'm more... I'm more don't say comfortable. I'm, we'll come for you. <laughs> we'll come think of another word. <laughs> Okay, I'm, pri- I'm more privileged oh, okay. in a okay. sense. Not yeah. any better, but okay. Yeah. La. I've got the, <laughs> got the gist. But, uh, but acknowledging that your privilege is, uh, you know, you get, point, you get yeah. points for that. No, I, 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 no, I am very, very grateful mm-hmm. that I am. Yeah. yeah. But like with your current income now, do you think you would be comfortable parting with a lot of your money on a car? Oh, not now. No, not right? now. Yeah. I mean, I would love to. Yeah. But. The, but yeah. Singapore transport system is so good. I don't see why people need a car. Yes. Yeah. Unless I mean, it's for families. I oh. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So unless yeah. for families, but I think I understand why families would need a car unless like they have so many people or like I don't know, maybe their jobs they need they need mm. a car, yeah. But I think for a regular Singaporean yeah. if you live in Singapore, I think the, the public transport is quite mm-hmm. Yeah, if you got a nine to five and you don't have kids, like you don't need a car. Yeah. I, I agree, I yeah. agree. Yeah. Because you just go to one place and go home, why you need a car for? Correct. And if the times where you do need to get somewhere quickly, just get a grab or yeah. something. Like that, be, you know? And then on, yeah. on your broker sure. months you can like um, take the public transport when you feel like a bit loaded that money you can take more grabs so like, at least you can control that but a car is a sunk cost every month it's some wise financial yeah. Yeah. Okay, but like I shouldn't be telling people not to get cars because like, a lot of people's goals is to get a car okay. and also you cannot work on your car what do you mean by you can't? What do you mean by You that? can't reply messages. You oh, can't reply yeah. emails. Oh. But on the grab, I can. Yeah, and like, on true. my way here, I already finished a lot of my work. So my mind is very clear. I, I can focus on this. Oh. So you technically buy time also? Yes. Thinking a grab really. is buying time. Multitasking? Yeah. Yes. Chris, oh. what do you think? Out of 10. <laughs> I 
four and a half. Four and a half. Four and a half. <clears throat> yeah, because wow, I think I'm very inconsistent. I think I'll put it that way. Like there are some months that I will be like good with my finances. Like every week, you know, I won't be struggling. But then there will be days. No, there will be months where like. I would need something like I I just see something and then I will want it. I think it's I think it's called instant gratification. Or something. Yeah, instant, yeah. 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 So it's like I don't I won't say I'm materialistic, but I like that instant gratification of getting something. Mm. So um, nowadays I've been really into Sony Angels. Do you guys know what, what Sony Angels are? It's mm. those. Okay, it's it's like Labubu. You know Labubu, yeah, but yeah. it's like way smaller. It's it's just like <laughs> it's nothing. It's really nothing. It's it's, it's just a, a collectible. Yeah, oh, it's yeah. a it's a naked baby. Actually. How much is it? Uh? A naked baby. A naked baby. Okay. Um, okay, I get mine from like those thrift stores. Mm, okay. So like $18 but it's still okay, a lot okay, well, but it's like this size like they're this small and they just stand on, like, their phone? Yes, 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 yes 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 yeah, I have, yeah. I've seen it, I've seen yeah it. so like I don't know like I don't even get anything out of it it's just like <laughs> I open it like I open it and then it's like mm, which one would I get and then like when I open it it's like oh not the one I want okay and but when, when it's still it? no I still keep it but yeah. like okay then I realized that me doing it it's, it's becoming of a bad habit mm. so I wouldn't even stop myself. And also like, I don't know, I guess I go online and then like I watch all these things about like, oh, money savings or like mm -hmm. whatever. And I'm like, okay, actually, these are things that I don't need. And mm -hmm. these are just things that gratifies you, me yeah. instantly. For like a moment. Yeah, for like a moment. Yeah. And then they'll just collect dust on my desk. Oh, like, wow. After a while. So I'll be like, okay. But I think once in a while it's fine it's just that I can't I can't do it yeah. all the time it's okay you're still, yeah. you're still young thank you yeah. I didn't <laughs> think I learned to save until I was like <laughs> in my mid 20s maybe oh. oh yeah I could be in a much better financial situation right now if I had started saving Savings. earlier oh yeah. in okay. fact like honestly I worked the first year that I started working I didn't like didn't save much at all mm. just spent most of it honestly like mm. trips traveling whatever hobbies I had at the time. <clears throat> and then it wasn't until like COVID when, you know, we were just stuck at home. Yeah. And then like, I got really into the the feeling of like watching like my bank account, mm. like increase every month. Like, cause you're getting paid and not spending mm. much, right? Mm. And I just thinking like, oh, you know, like I'm quite into this. And then I did have like, you know, what you were talking about earlier, savings burnout, mm. where like, it was really tough for me to like- Spend. Get, yeah, get over that like mindset of like, you know, not spending. Mm. Like, mm. I, I, like too stingy and like it's mm. not fun to be around I think you know when you're not generous mm. when you're not when like every single thing you like complain about spending about so you know I feel like I'm at a happy medium I would say I'm about mm. five or six mm. right now I still do like to spend on stupid things sure. once in a while do that you know, yeah do you gotta enjoy life so a little you bit so you rate yourself five, five or six I would say five or, five or six yeah. I'd like to change my answer <laughs> <laughs> what so lower or higher lower lower no, 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 like, yeah I do it like I think I was being too too, <laughs> <laughs> too lenient to too myself lenient to okay yeah. but okay I think it's fine like why are you comparing yourself it's okay <laughs> no I think I think it's not like four to five now it's like hmm I think I'm being a bit too generous mm. Yeah, maybe maybe like a three. I'll I'll bring myself to a three. Okay, then I think I have to bring it over. No, 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 Yep. Because I was always a freelancer. I've yep. never held down a full-time mm. job. Mm. So I don't have the CPF that my peers have. Mm. I don't have the savings that my peers have as well. Yeah. So I really have to make up for that. I'm turning 35 next year. I have to entertain the idea of uh, getting a BTO as a single person. Mm. So that would cost a substantial amount of money. Mm. And for my other single friends, they probably held down a job for a while. So CPF, haha, maybe top up a bit of cash and then they can service their mortgage. But I'm not like that because mm. that is not how things happen for me. Mm. So I, I have to make up for all of that. So I can't live the luxurious life that I want to. Right. I'm very comfortable. I'm not yes. like, I'm not struggling, but I'm really comfortable. I, but I have to consider the fact that I've got a later head start than everyone yep. else. You always wanted to be in this line of work, right? Yes. Mm. Yeah. Yes, I don't know how other people do other jobs, you know? Okay. <laughs> like, because I don't, I, I respect how, uh, I respect the hustle. I respect how people go to work at nine to five, mm. or nine to five and do their job. I cannot. Yeah, I cannot do. Why? Why did you want to do this line of work? 
Why do you want to be an entertainer, a, a content creator? I think that I watched a lot of TV and I think watching too much TV as well. <laughs> then I drew a lot of inspiration from the way they did things. Then I thought, mm. oh, okay, you know, the guy is funny. I'm also quite funny one. So I can do that. And then I like, I see people doing a lot of fun things. Yeah. Mm. And also like, I grew up in an uh, environment where, you know, we were not very um, financially privileged. So I had to vicariously live through what I saw on the TV. Yeah. Mm. So I thought that, wow, this guy went to Switzerland and he's doing like a show or travel show. Mm. So my only way to go to Switzerland is to do a show myself like that. Ooh. You know, in that sense. Yeah. yeah. So a lot of the fun things I thought, oh, you can only do it through TV as a very young kid. But eventually when that, when that dream became a bit more serious and when I started growing up, I realized that the only job I probably know how to do is entertainment. I, so I really, please keep me around, have me around. Because I don't know how I'm going to do anything else. Yeah. yeah. Did you ever feel worried about like the financial part of it? No, I think I had a very lovely mom who, uh, I mean, she, she she did support me a lot mm. financially when I was at my lows. With the, the low was quite long. I think it's about 30 years of low. But uh, <laughs> I, I still had like gigs here and there, but yeah, it was yeah. not enough for me to... So, I think that was one year when I was 29 I think I probably earned like 6,000 for the whole year or something oh, like that okay. yeah so that was that was quite low and you weren't doing any part-time jobs I wasn't anything? doing any part-time jobs because I was afraid to take out a part-time job in case a big gig comes mm. okay. yeah. so okay. that is the struggle Right. Did you ever get the talk from your parents like, hey, uh, son, you know, I know we, you're really passionate about this, but maybe it's time to try something no else. Nowhere. Wow, okay, yeah. No, wow, really maybe special parents. Special parents are maybe very manipulative gaslighting son. <laughs> <laughs> I, I always told them that like, oh, maybe I, I'm going to make it. But I think she did believe in me. My mom really yeah. did believe in me. I do not know what she envisioned for me. Mm. I always believe like, okay, when she said like, oh, when she says, when she believes in me, I, I'm sure she had a vision in her mind. Okay, my son will become something. Mm. But I don't know what is that thing. Right. So when it all like sort of panned out nicely, then I had a conversation with her. I said, so, so this is what we were like hoping to happen, right? Because I think my mom does, didn't really understand the concept of yeah. uh, what I was doing. Mm. Okay. She just knew that I was able to pay the bills and I was happy and she was fine. But then eventually when Star Awards happened, then that's when she realised that, okay, in, in their mind, an award, like a pinnacle of like somewhat of, uh, a pinnacle of success, yeah. Yeah. you know, on a television screen, that could like re register in her brain as, okay, Das is doing something with his life and is somewhat successful. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. So going back to the question from Jake, right? He has this bit where he wants to scale up and grow. However, none is happening. It kind of feels like you might have been in a similar si situation. Yeah. Right, what did you do when you were, you know, when you, you felt like your career wasn't advancing in that like 20s mm. kind of stage? What, what, what would be your advice to someone who feels that kind of frustration? Okay, firstly, you need to um, expand your, what I call the luck surface area. That the luck surface, surface area. area. So you cannot wait for luck to happen. Mm. You need to prepare yourself for oh, okay. the luck to happen. So that preparation is widening your luck surface area. <laughs> this one thing you can do is you can upskill. Uh, I sound like I'm like, yeah. like meeting up policies. Yeah. Right? <laughs> like upskill, go and take up courses, things that you're interested in. Um, if you can't afford it, there's skills future, of course. <laughs> uh, and then, Sponsored by gov.sg. <laughs> Not really. But there's that. And also another thing you can do is really network. Yes. and speak to people and let people know uh, what your interests are and also don't be afraid to start smaller mm -hmm. so if you want to become a director don't expect to become a director immediately maybe mm -hmm. start with becoming a PA you know get earn some money get some sense of what's happening on the set observe so that way you can learn and earn money at the same time I started out I did a bit of I, I used to move props for a theatre show okay. and that was what I did so I have a lot more empathy for crew Yeah. Okay. in that sense I do understand when crew tell me that they have their struggles or they need me to wait for a while they need some time to prepare or they need me to be faster because the su the sun is going down I have a lot more empathy for them mm. yeah. so I think that is not a bad thing to start you know smaller and it's the pay is smaller the, re re the responsibility is less so it's cool and another thing uh, I feel like people need to do is stop asking for advice and not heeding it. Okay. That really annoys me when people constantly ask me how to get ahead in their career and I repeat the same thing over and over again. But something about them uh, does not want to heed my advice mm -hmm. because sometimes the advice that I give is not going to be as beautiful as, oh, send out emails. Yeah. yeah. You know? 
it's about like getting down and yeah, yeah, getting down and dirty, you know, like you know, yeah. going to make friends, going to talk to people about things, being uncomfortable, uh, do work for a lot less money. Mm. Yes. You know, to and, and try to hustle. Mm-hmm. And people ask, oh, you know, I'm still stuck in my own career. Then I'm like thinking, huh, I don't know, Leigh, how come you all do so well then? Then I'm still like that. It's because I told you this a thousand and one times and you don't want to listen. So after a while, people get sick of giving advice to you. Yeah. So don't be that person. But if you are not prepared to heed the advice, then don't ask for advice also. Mm-hmm. Because people are being very vulnerable and mm-hmm. honest as honest when they're asking for advice as when they are giving as well. Yeah. Yeah, so that is the thing. So all you guys watching this show, remember that. <laughs> yeah. So because my friend wanted to host like many, many years ago. Okay. Someone wanted to host an event. So I said, you want to host events, you cannot start straight away start and host Nash- NDP lah. And it's not going to happen. <laughs> I haven't hosted NDP yet as well. But uh, but then maybe you can reach out to your community centre and ask them if they have any small events that yeah. they can, you know, maybe children's event or whatever that you, know, you can try to host. Maybe do a video clip a short like hosting reel of yourself hosting maybe in front of a mirror or at home showing them what you can do because you don't have much experience yeah, right yeah. And didn't want to do then still come back with the same thing because a part of him I think felt like it's a bit of an ego like um, it, it would ruin his ego a bit or hurt his ego a bit if he has to go down and ask for a job Mm. Uh, so then it's very hard in this industry really have to be a bit thick skin yeah, I, yeah. I I understand that it's a bit you have to swallow your pride sometimes but if you what your your goal has to always be bigger than that yeah, yeah. So, true. yeah. But I guess most people also don't see you know the side where you were like helping out in like theatre shows be, mm. to begin with and stuff like mm-hmm. that so they don't know that side they only see the side where like whoa like he made it yeah. I want to see it. I want to know how he made it I don't want to know like the struggle exactly they don't yes. want to go through oh the God, process that's clever <laughs> yeah, that's exactly what rich I want rich and clever right. yeah, rich and clever, clever. Okay. Is that, okay. Um, <laughs> I, I, because like a lot of people like I said I always tell people I've been in this industry for 8 years yeah. you may not have known me for the first 6 years but that's work I still yeah. did work for 6 yeah. years and I believe that that's effort mm. that I put in maybe like the past 2 years okay like, a bit a bit of glitz, glitz and glamour but uh, I still have to respect the work that I did uh, before that and it, it wasn't very pretty like at times. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. You, know, yeah. you mentioned NDP. I think you would be the perfect host yes. for NDP. Uh. We should campaign for it. Oh. That's for next year's NDP. Because you know how they always have like the four... Mm. Reserve. And they represent like you. They only you need to hire one, one person. Yeah. You wow. just pay you the salary oh. of four people. Okay, I think that's a bit unfair. <laughs> <laughs> because although although I I can somewhat speak the four languages, but I think we still need the racial representation. Yeah. 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 So yeah. I think we still need a Chinese person because I'm not Chinese and a Malay person and Joe Kim uh, to <laughs> and to to do that. And uh, I don't mind being the Indian representative, uh, but uh, I, I mean of course it's like every host's goal to be. Uh, uh, is this still funny? Yeah. <laughs> Every host goal to be a, uh, uh, I mean, a, a host in NDP because, or like maybe President Star Charity or something in like yeah. on a Singapore Let's level. Yeah. It's both. Why not? Yeah. But and scary, then eh? when you get on that stage, I hope you remember. I w- this remember mothership. Remember this yeah. conversation. Yes, of course. Yes. Yes. We'll, we'll campaign for for thank it. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I wanna before we um, close off on this question, I wanna talk about. I mean, we've we've talked about saving a little bit, but I want to ask you guys, what do you think your number one tip for saving is? And remember the ratings we gave ourselves <laughs> as you assess these tips. We start, let's start on this side. Oh number one tip God. for saving. Number one tip for saving. Don't buy any of those uh, <laughs> naked baby things you were talking about. That's one. Yeah. But I think a more general one would be open a savings account, lock it up. Don't get a cut on it or like don't even put it on your Apple Pay because I have a savings account I used to put it on my Apple Pay and I've it's like every time I use my deposit account to like buy something and the funds are low I'm like it's okay I still have my savings account like I still have money from there I'm just gonna pay it back the next month yeah that's a very bad mindset so if you have a savings account if you have a stream of income have a savings account lock it up and don't use the money Please. Mm, 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 yeah. Mm, mm. Okay, mine would be record everything you spend money on. Like, mm. So just like record on some app or some spreadsheet. That's number one saving tip. Ooh, okay. I want to ask okay. <laughs> Oh, okay. I have a shopping problem. So okay, my tip that. is <laughs> well, <I think> tag. <laughs> my, my tip is to leave it in your cart for two weeks. And if you still oh, want okay. it, then you... Then you go and get it. Oh, that's good. That's wow. good. Two, like it's two weeks. Yeah. Like, cause I realized one week I'm still upset about something, but two weeks I get over it. What if it's on sale though? 
that oh no, no still different. <laughs> 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 yeah, no, and then now, you, now many stores will say like when you click on your size it'll be like one left oh uh, man that's really like you know no, I think that's a lie like, <laughs> I really really like you you're so you're like when okay so I'm, I'm going to Bali okay I'm going to Bali next week and have then you been, have you been I've been I've been okay, okay. I'm so scared of Bali Betty but anyways mm. so I was booking this hotel and then my friend is also going and he was like okay hurry up like go and book then when I was in office I was checking it but I didn't bring my wallet so I was like checking it I was like one left. Then I was like, they're tricking me. No way is one left. And I took- One room left. One room left off okay. that price. Everything Liars. I was like, nah, like, I'm going to trust myself. And then two days later, one room left. Then I got it. So sometimes they lie, guys. Like Maybe just no one got that room. Yeah, maybe. No, 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 no. <laughs> Which hotel is this? Uh, Lloyd's Inn. Oh, oh okay, okay, they have one in Singapore. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's a bit like aesthetic, white, white, yeah. white yeah. background. Yeah, got vibes. Yeah, got like yeah. white. I know, I know. I think my one tip uh, yeah. is uh, this is for y'all at the thirties, in the thirties, or even like younger. Mm. Just pick one vice. One vice. Ooh. Don't pick up other activities. Yeah. yeah. So pick one vice. Like some people's vice is like uh, going to restaurant every every now and then. Can I just say I never I don't understand why people constantly take grab. Uh, I mean, you drive, no, that's no, 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 no. <laughs> Wait, because as in some people can't. I don't know if anyone, but some people come like Blame. if they have like yeah, they won't. They'll choose like, if they have an hour, right? They'll choose to leave later from their okay. house so that they can take a grab mm. instead of like I have like thirty more minutes. I'm just gonna take the bus or mm. like yeah. MRT. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I never really understood it. No, I, I think I think that is a very good point. Uh, because sometimes I do that, but uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's like you wake up in the morning and you're Dude, like, the grabs from Woodlands must be not. Yeah, easy. and sometimes. It's, Sometimes it's, it doesn't even come. But anyway, like something wake up in the morning and you're like, oh, I want to sleep a bit more, 15 more minutes. Oh, yeah, yes. just take grab. You know that? It's just like noir in bed. Yeah. Noir. It's just like, okay, because it's more convenient that we also, I feel like it's like, you just, you have a literal car coming to below your block instead of like walking to the bus stop mm -hmm. or like having mm -hmm. to go to the MRT. Okay, because a lot of times I do my hair makeup at home mm -hmm. yeah. for work. So I can't possibly take MRT and go because by the time I go take my MRT, go up oh, and then it'll be gone okay. so true. for work, right? So yeah. then that's then. But on my off days, I do definitely take the MRT. Mm. I yeah. take the, I, I love taking the MRT, especially when I'm not the that brown line. Mm. The and another th another thing is like when it comes to taking MRT, right? If you tell your f tell or uh, do this, don't ever plan in advance what time you're going to meet your friend. Let me give you a oh. thing. Ooh. So <laughs> tell your friend, I'll meet you at 7pm tentatively, but I'll text you when I leave my home. <gasps> oh. Dude. So I'll text you when I leave my home. So you tell them, you text you when you leave your home, right? Yeah. Then when you all text each other, I'm leaving my home now, then I will take a train. But then if you plan it at 7 o'clock, yeah. and then you are still like tw twiddling your thumbs at home at 6.30, you're definitely going to take a grab. Yeah, that's mm. true. So you always like tell your friends like 10, 7 o'clock tentatively, but I'll text you when I'm leaving. Smart. So Smart. so then that friend can also buffer. You don't have to make yeah. them in, make their life inconvenient, lah. But work and all that, please be on time. I guess, yeah. 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 I'm very punctual. That is thing something I pride myself. Hey, on. you're on time today. I'm always punctual. Uh, no, 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 no. I touch wood. The, oh, <laughs> I have been late. I have been late. Okay, definitely. But I take a lot of pride in yeah. punctuality because I have empathy for crew. Yeah. Mm. Because Yay. crew is always earlier than me. Yeah. 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 I just remembered something you said earlier that I want to go back to because sure. I find it quite interesting. You hate debt. Do you yeah. have a credit card? I have a credit card. Okay, but you always pay down your, your credit card. Always pay down my credit card. Uh, yeah. Then also there are a lot of perks to having a credit card yeah, as well. Yeah, you like to travel. So yeah, that travel. Really that. Then, because uh, I, there is this, I'm, I'm not going to say the credit card thing. Yeah. Just pay me. But uh, <laughs> uh, I have this credit card where they give me rebates whenever I use public transport. Okay. So every time I use that for my bus and MRT, then I get rebates. So I think uh, there, there are perks too. Like te I'm technically saving money. Yeah. But you need yeah. to have the discipline to pay it back. Yeah. 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 I feel like I wrote an ad for this credit card. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Sure. We can like yeah, clarify we, we, we later. later. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay. Interesting. Huh. Interesting. And do you ever use like buy now, pay, pay later? Oh my God. Uh, unless there's a discount. Yeah. Okay. Mm. Unless it's a discount. So yeah. like, it's only a discount for the first time if you use it. Mm. After mm. that, there's yeah. no discount really. So I won't. You know, I have a story about that. Like, mm -hmm. buy now, pay later. So, um, there's this particular merchant, okay, that a lot of people use. So, it's very convenient for people to buy now, pay later, or like, use now and then pay later. So, um, I personally 
also use this. Oh, really? But yes, yes, yes. But I have friends who also use this. And one of my friends actually confessed to us one day and she was like, oh, um, I haven't paid this much on this month. And then we were like, you have to pay. Because she's been complaining for like months, you know, <laughs> about this. It's like, oh, I continuously like don't pay or like struggle to pay this much yeah. yeah so then we asked her like how much do you owe and then she's like I think this is my third month and it's like over 3k <laughs> I was like huh what? 3k so this merchant keeps I think like at the end of the month they keep calling her yeah. to tell her about her debt but she just doesn't pay up because she doesn't have the finances or like she doesn't have the resources to pay it back but she can't help but to keep using this merchant mm. so oh my gosh. and I think I saw a video online about this whole like buy now pay later scheme and it's essentially it works like a credit card because like they loan you a certain amount mm. but the difference between this and a credit card is because if you want to have certain credit cards you need to have a certain like you need to show like the bank like salary. yeah minimum salary yeah, yeah. and everything but this buy now pay later is accessible to anyone and everyone like even people who don't have stable incomes so mm. I find that quite scary actually yeah yeah, yeah. Ooh, you have unlocked something yeah. yeah, I've only used it once Maybe. to get a discount. I yeah. think similar to yeah, you. Yeah. After that, but for me, I feel like luxuries in life, non necessities, just paid off. Oh yeah. Mm. But if it's like house and all of these mm, things, yeah. then oh, yeah, you yes. take the installment plan makes sense. Yeah. yeah. But why yeah. would you want to like go on a very luxurious trip and then spend the next entire year paying back for it? That's yeah. true. Yeah. Yeah. It's so painful. Yeah. Nuts. Yeah. Now I, I used to be really scared of debt, similar to you. Like I, when I was younger, I thought like I would never want to get a credit card. Mm. I would never like I would never succumb to it but now here I am 30 plus 31 mm. I've got three credit cards okay yeah, I have more than that but it's oh, okay, okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay I did yeah. an entire documentary on CNA about like mile hacking okay is, oh. are you very into that? I am not into that but I met this couple who who is very much into that mm. and then they have an entire spreadsheet of like all the credit cards they have yeah, and what are the miles you know yeah, they can earn yeah. and then also when the policy changes they update it wow. they're very organized and they travel for free quite a lot uh, because they have that many yeah. miles yeah not uh, so what's the video called uh, <laughs> it's called uh travel ha- you can just google das uh, channel news asia uh, mile hacking mm. mile so hacking. it's basically like uh basically about people who know how to save money and stuff like that. But you need to have that discipline. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So I don't have that discipline of creating a <laughs> spreadsheet for every credit card that I have. Yeah. So I just really have to be very prudent. The admin own. as well because some of these people they will like cancel their credit card mm. and then like yeah. a year later reapply to get mm. the bonuses and things like yeah, that. Yeah, I don't know all of that. I don't have yeah, that kind of that brain. Kind of yeah. <laughs> yeah. Then, then they label all their credit card. Oh, this one for food. This one online. This one wow. transport. Oh. This one. Because wow. uh, yeah. they just need to hit like the minimum, right? Yeah. Then they yeah. will know. Okay, so I I spend my minimum spend of $300 on yeah. this card to earn whatever. So then after this, I'm not going to use this card. I'm going to use the other card every day. Very clever. Mm. Wow. Mm, mm. Okay, so for Jake, <laughs> your finances are troubled up. Beware of buy now, pay later. I didn't like use it if you need to, but don't spend beyond your means. Mm. Mm. What else? What other advice did we give? Uh, if people give you advice, listen to it. Yeah. Or they'll get very angry. <laughs> If you go shopping, <laughs> if you go wait shopping, two weeks. wait. But two that weeks. is so good, right? That's so good. Yeah, that's so good. It's been that's working. It's yeah. been working. <laughs> it's been working pretty well. We'll we'll get an update on you. Two two later, weeks. Two weeks. Later, I, later, I'm nothing in my my cart right now. Yeah. Oh no! Wait wait wait. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, as in like. <laughs> Help desk is powered by Audio Technica. 